Joe, I started him as a puppy. I uh, raised him, trained him, and made him own cross. Uh, I took him from nothing to Grand Night in UKC and never lost a cast. Um, I had turned around and ended up selling the dog. I bought him back. Um, my buddy and me did. My buddy ended up selling him again. Well, I tracked the dog back down, and me and a couple other of my good friends went halves on him and bought him back this time to keep him. Joe's more or less my buddy. Joe's high points is he's an honest strike dog. He likes to be by himself and have a coon. Usually when Joe trees, he's got a coon hanging. He don't make a whole lot of mistakes. Uh, he moves around good and don't have a lot of downtime. Joe's great grandma was Brian's Broken Pine Katie. I took her and I bred her to Graber's B. And he, that cross right there reproduced uh, by Brian's Broken Pine Lumber. Lumber would be his uh, dad. And I've, uh, this was the only pup I kept out of that cross. I really like Joe. I sold the rest of the pups at about a year old and I put a lot of time in Joe. Uh, Joe's kind of the, probably the last one lone pine dog I have in my kennel, or broken pine kennels, is Joe right here. I had two pups out of him. I had one I called uh, Little Joe. Dan Hutchison owns him now. He's a really nice pup. Uh, Joe seems to be reproducing good. Two crosses out of him. All the pups are doing good. Oh, he's a big baby. Joe is probably the most common dog around the house. He just lays around all day. He's not real hyper. Um, he's good with people. Uh, he's, just, he's just your friend. I mean, it's hard not to like him. Last night in the late round, it was a real bad storm. I was struck for 100. Joe got in the country. We had a hard time hearing him. Finally, the judge could hear him. He was treated up by a house, this ambushed a coon. Um, when we got to him there, that was two and a quarter plus. That was a game changer in the cast. I recut him and he dropped in 600 again and treated a coon to win the cast there. Didn't have much downtime at all. I mean, that was pretty much it right there. I mean, that's what advanced me to the finals with the second coon. I mean, I sealed the deal there. And that was, that's when he needed it the most. I mean, he did what he needed to do right there and that was a big step for us. I feel pretty good. Uh, I trained the other two dogs in the finals. They came from me. I sold them to the owners they have now. Um, that's gonna be a coon training contest. Uh, there's no, there's no easy cast here. I mean, many and outlaw both, you're gonna have to be them. They're both coon dogs. Uh, this should be a real interesting cast. Hopefully the best dog wins. Hey guys, Trevor, back live from the woods. I came to the new spot, Colors. Been 12 minutes and we got some action. Uh, Joe's treat in here. Uh, he took 75 strike, 125 tree. Uh, we're here, he's handled, they're shining that tree. On the way to this tree, Outlaw's been declared split tree at about 200 yards away. Uh, 100 strike, 125 tree. They have found Joe's coon. Someone found Joe's coon here and Luke Stark is making his way over to the tree. Joe's been plus. We'll handle him, get him recast, and head to Outlaw's tree. Stay tuned. They had his ups and has had his downs tonight. The dogs did not perform like I thought they should. Uh, I figured we'd treat a lot more coon than that. We had some downtime that I didn't think would happen. Um, I don't know, I'm just happy I won it because it's been a dream of mine for so long. I've been to the top 100, I think seven times. I placed 14th one time and finally I closed my chapter there. It's something I wanted to do for a long time and I finally did it. He's gonna be happy. Hopefully he gets a lot of girlfriends and that's what he's looking for. That was our goal coming into here. I don't want to hunt him for a while. I want to either get him collected or get some females bred before I push him anymore. I'm not going to say the dog won't be campaigned anymore or rain up and down the road, but for a little while I want to take a break with him. The dog's been hunting pretty hard here lately and hopefully I can get some pups on the ground. He deserves it and I feel this dog can really help the walker breed out. So I want to give him a chance of breeding for some females, quality females, and go from there.